Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Learn Smart Coding. Uh, today in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a key in the Azure Key Vault and also a certificate from the Azure Key Vault. And we will also see how to access the key and the certificate from your .NET Core API, okay, through using the .NET SDK. Come, let's dive in. I have opened up my portal and uh, if I go to the Key Vault, it is going to display uh, the key vault that is already there and if you don't have just go ahead and create a key vault you can watch my previous video so i'm going to take one of the key vault uh, the lskk v3 and then go to keys and generate a key i can actually generate a key i can also import the key but let's keep it simple okay so i'm gonna generate a key called key dash two and i'm going to leave the rest of the items as default Okay, so I'm going to uncheck this and let's go ahead and create the key because our intention is to access the key from the .NET Core app. Okay, now you can see these are the properties of the keys and uh, a key has been generated. Uh, okay, which is managed by Microsoft. Okay, now similarly, let's go back and create a certificate. Okay, so for certificate, okay, I already have a certificate. All right, so you can see this is the accessing certificate. Uh, this is the issuer and all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a brand new certificate. Okay, so let's go here. We can generate the certificate, but let's uh, keep it simple. So let's go and import the certificate. Uh, you can watch my previous video of how you can generate the self-signed certificate. Okay, so I already have a self-signed SSL certificate. I'm gonna pick up the certificate that I have already so I already have a self-signed certificate exported. I'm going to pick up that certificate. And uh, once I pick up that, I'm going to give the password of the certificate, which was exported. Okay. So let's go ahead and pick up the certificate. Let's give the password. So once the password is done, you can click on create. It will uh, generate the certificate. You see this, the second the second one. So LSE cert. Okay. So I know the name and uh, let's go back to the to the application. So I'm going to tell you, so the, the .NET Core application that we're going to use, right, it's going to be hosted on the, on the, on the Azure website. Okay. So this is whole thing is going to work based on the managed identity. I will I'll recap that. So this is the uh, code that you're looking at. This is already there in GitHub. So don't worry about the code. So under the key vault demo controller, so if you go to the key vault demo controller, there are two methods that I've created both are to access the key and the certificate respectively. The first one is for key, second one is for the certificate. So the whole idea here is to how to access these two using the .NET Core SDK. So in order to access the certificate and the key, you need to install two packages. And the packages are coming from the security, azure.security.keyvault.keys and for certificate, keyvault.certificate. And for secret, it is keyvault.secret, okay? So these are the DLLs being used, okay? So you can see I have already installed the uh, keyvault.keys and the security.keyvault.secret, okay? So these are sufficient for us to access the certificates and the key. Now let's go back to the controller. So if you look at this method, okay, so basically what we are going to do is we are going to put the key name here. So in order to get the vault URL, you can go to the key vault URL overview and copy it and paste it here. So this is what you get the URL. And now we initialize the key client and then pass in the URL and the default credential. So when I say default credential, this is based off the managed identity. Okay, so from Visual Studio, it's based on the user that you have logged in. So if you deploy this to the app service, then it's based on the app service managed identity permission on the key vault. All right. So you can also see the properties are coming from the model that I've created on the controller itself. And then if you take a look at the certificate, we basically need to provide the certificate name and then the URL, which is the same URL, the key vault URL. And then once you provide these two, you can use the certificate client method, I mean the class, and then pass in the URL. And this is also based on the default Azure credential. So this is what you will uh, able to access the certificate. So now let's run this application or even we have to actually deploy this. So I've copy pasted the, the, the latest keys that we created and I'm going to deploy this to the uh, the app service that I have. The, under the app service, I have a uh, web app that has been used. You would have seen it in my previous videos. So here what i'm going to show us uh, i'm going to show you how this identity works so if you go to the app service go to identity under the system assigned identity i have set to on so once you have this app service 
having the identity on, you have to go to the key vault and give permission to that app service to access that key vault. Okay, so this key vault, if you go under the access policy, okay, I have already given the permission. See, you can see the essential API having permission for all these things, but how do you create if you do not have it, right? So click on create and then choose what permission that you want. If you just need only certain permissions, check only those checkbox and come to the selector principle and type in your application, the app server's app name. And once you have that selected, go click on next, next, and then review, create, and click on create. Once you do that, you will be able to get your app service, the web app access to the key wall that you have created. So once you have this access, once we publish this, we will go to the see model where it has been deployed. So if I scroll down and click on read a uh, key, see, I'm able to get the properties of the key two. Key two is the one that we created in this demo, right? So I'm able to access the key vault key two details from the .NET Core app. The properties that you saw on my screen, this is the properties. So, all right. Similarly, if you click on the certificate, I will be able to touch the certificate and read the certificate. You see this? Cert, LSE cert. That's a new certificate that we created. So now we know this is the conclusion of this demo. So from our .NET Core API, we are able to access the key and the certificate using .NET Core SDK. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is also part of AZ204 certification part. If you like this video, let me know. If you have any questions, do write in the comment section and I'll be happy to help you. Thank you. Thanks for watching. If you like my video, don't forget to subscribe my channel, like it, share it, comment it, and never forget to click on the bell icon.